Jonathan Mingo would see that like his ADP, it went up and then it slowly crept back down. But it feels like it could be in for another jump now that DJ Chark's dealing with a hamstring injury. And I kind of get wary with rookies sometimes when people start saying, OK, well, someone's got to catch the ball. We saw it last year with Alan Lazard in Green Bay. Um, we saw it last year with Darnell Mooney in Chicago. Mingo's going at 143 on sleeper ADP, 153 on underdog. I mean, in terms of as a prospect, he's an interesting prospect because he's there was a lot of undersized wide receivers in this class, and he's somebody who really can go up and catch up the catch point. He's 6'2", 220 pounds. But do you feel like this is another situation similar to Donald Mooney and Alan Lazard last year where players being pushed up simply because there's nobody else who we believe in? Or do you feel like Mingo's still undervalued? This all is dependent on your individual evaluation, prospect evaluation of Jonathan Mingo, I believe. Uh, based on that chart that shows his arc of ADP, I'm not doing my job well enough to convince people that Jonathan Mingo is like an actually good player. Um, I believe he is. And I know that this might not really matter, but if you go back and look at like the first wide receiver draft in the second round over the last few years, it's like Michael Pittman. I believe it's Christian Watson. It's T Higgins. It's Elijah Moore. We can keep going on and on and on with that. Um, he perfectly fits. And he's already a starter on this team. That's helpful. Uh, now that DJ Chark, he's actually playing a different spot than DJ Chark, who is, you know, the vertical downfield field stretcher. That's probably what Terrace Marshall would have played if he didn't suffer this back injury. We know that Adam Thielen's working in the slot and Mingo's kind of this movable Z that gets put in motion. And I think he's going to be uh, featured heavily on RPOs, which I think will be a massive part of a Panthers offense. And, you know, JJ, Zacharyson, Ben Gretsch have done these very awesome studies on mobile quarterbacks with uh, top five usage of RPOs in the NFL. And everything seems to be funneled towards one certain wide receiver in those instances. And to me, that's Mingo, as we saw in the preseason game against, you know, the Giants, that little look route, saw blitz, absorb contact, keep going after this. It's a big positive that he's already going to see snaps early in the season. And I think Mingo's going to be that player that when we look back in week six or week seven or week eight, he really hits his stride, settles into the league, and we could see a big second half of the season as long as this offensive line isn't the absolute stone worst in the NFL. Love it. So you heard it here, people. Go and draft Jonathan Mingo in every single one of your drafts. Stash him in your redraft leagues and get ready for him to explode. <laughs> <laughs>